years ago. No, I, I did it. I quit smoking for two weeks. With my superpowers. In Easter, I started again. It's not easy. Phobia. It's not easy. Uh, you tried doing a danger formula on quitting smoking. I tried everything. Did it work? You know what? So. I found ethics worked better for me after I left. You know oh, why? okay. Why? I didn't have some, some proper evaluating for me. Ah. And telling me what, you know, or, you know, trying to tell me what my liability formula should be. I actually found if you do ethics for yourself, like if you sit down and you don't have all this, you're a piece of shit run on you all the time. Yeah. I actually find the ethics tech, the way it's laid out, I find I can handle things faster. Okay. Because it gives you, it helps organize my thoughts faster. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Yes. I don't think it's the only, you know, I don't think okay. it's, I'm just saying positive thing about ethics tech. Deborah once did a doubt formula. It never worked while I was in because there was always someone fucking evaluating. Absolutely. Don't and evaluate, don't invalidate, don't evaluate. Yeah. It's out ethics to buy a TV. You know? It's out ethics to have books, out ethics to take a day off. Sure. You know what it is? It's like an implanted model. Yeah. And I found once I got rid of that and it came out, ethics is actually fun. Okay. No. Like sometimes you can just look at the thing and just go, I need to do this, this, and this. You don't sit down two hours and write. Well, you'd have to ask how do how do wogs improve conditions without the formulas? Yeah, they muddle through. They muddle through. Ah, that's it. So if these guys apply the formulas, why aren't they doing absolutely fantastic? It's the best piece. Ah. I guess. So so hang on a minute. Does SP is actually in the organisation? Well, that's what I thought when I was. That was, when I was signed for this, my reasoning was there must be an SP inside. And actually, that's the conclusion that came to a flag. Right. Because we were like, we were like, well, there's no expansion, there must be an SP. And we, we actually thought that at St. Hill too. And right. And finally, when I was at flag, and we'd gone, and the flag, the stuff of flag, thought that the SP was one of their public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. right. And the public thought the SP I would think the SP. I, so I, th I think the SP at Flag could be Harvey Jakes, but anyway. Well, everybody did. Yeah. All the public got Harvey Jakes. Really? The SP. That's funny. <laughs> and the staff at Flag were pulling in all the public, set checking them because they thought one of us was the SP. Oh wow. And then finally, I remember talking to Chrissy and going, "What if the scavenger is the SP?" Because the staff at Flag were fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. Even Harvey Jacks, you know, he's got a big mouth, but at the end of the day, what's he doing? Harvey Jacks thinks he's safe and well. Sure, they all do. I heard this from most people, oh, Harvey Jacks is an SP, Harvey Jacks is an SP. I was like, I really like Harvey. Okay. You know, it's just, it's just the fact that he's got a reg and reg. And oh, yeah. Reg. I didn't I, know him that well. I just had a big reg interview with him. Well, he assigned my ex conditions because... No, what happened? He wanted, we, we'd given him 200 grand and he wanted another 200 grand and they did a head peak, they did a handshake on him, like they pressured him until he shook hands. Wow. And then the nice. next day my ex said, I don't have 200 grand. So the CO banned him from the base saying he lied and humiliated him and he reported it out blind. But that was a desperation. I mean, Benny Weinrab told me he used to get liability if he made less than a million. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. They've got very serious targets at Flag. I wonder if they've got serious targets here, and that's why Gurr's looking so bad these days. Good. Doesn't look good, no. He's very stressed. It's like he's got a personal rain cloud following him around. He's probably under ethics or justice. At least one of them. Well, somebody has to be under something after the January debacle. Well, somebody's always under something because it's always a case of everywhere else in the world is doing well. You're out of ethics, you're down to that, you're the fuck up, you're the ones that aren't doing well. Yeah. When the truth of the matter is, everybody... Everyone's doing terrible, yeah. Doing terrible.
this thing of if it's just you and you guys are down that, that's the big lie. That's what yeah. every old thinks. That's right. It's everybody else. Yep. When I was at St. Hill, we thought that. We thought, we're the down stats, we're the out ethics, we're not making money and everybody else is. Yep. <laughs> you have to ask yourself though, why does it never expand? Why does it always stay the same? Or get smaller? It's miscavige doesn't really give a shit about where it expands. You know, we could argue all day about whether the tax works or not. You and I have a lot of these discussions. Yeah. We can talk about LRH. The LRH is dead. I don't say that the tech doesn't work. I just want people to tell me how it does. Because they can't. I can see how some things work, and but I've, I don't see Yeah, but I don't want to hear it from you. What's that? I want to hear from one of these. Yeah. And I want them to think about it. No, I know. Do you remember that thing you used to have called critical thinking? Yes. When you used to analyze things and try and work stuff out for yourself. Do you know what my auditor told me was the reason I had to audit more BTs after there were no more BTs? Because we had an argument about go this, on then, right? Go on, go on. Hang on, wait till, like, the, hang on a minute. wait till the tram's gone because I can't hear you. Oh, go on, no, it's okay, go on. After, right? Yeah. We go into OT4 and he's like, pulls out the correction list. We start having meetings on the roots. And I'm like, hang on a minute. OT3 I tested there were no more meetings. So that's a false test. I said, how can I be ordering more meetings? Yeah, yeah. It's watermelon. And do you know what he said? Absolutes are unattainable. <laughs> and I was like, but I offend at the examiner. There are no more BTs. I, I, Amazing. I was like yeah. in two minds about it. And the answer is manhole covers. Um, I think I want to go and get a coffee, Sam. Do you? I have no idea down there. Should we head down that way? Yeah, we can do. Bye, guys. Nice talking to you as always. Shame about your condition. As Justice Anderson said, quite cruelly I thought at first, but the adherents of the cult are sadly deluded and often mentally ill. And that's a very hard pill to swallow, but I tend to agree with him these days. Sadly deluded and often mentally ill. Right. What do you think about forced abortions? They don't care. Oh really? Even though it's on the pill. Are you getting thirsty yet? Because I am. I am getting quite thirsty. Come on, let's go and get something. Come on, mate. Homework. Read Dianetic, read what Alloy is talking about, Borsham, and then next time I come, we'll have to talk about Sierra Pepper. And get the old copy of Dianetics 55 and read what he says about the E-meter. Only Miscavige doesn't seem to think so. Bye, guys, you poor, sad guys. I'm going now. Bye. Bye. If you keep opening your mouth like that, a fly is going to go in. <laughs> oh, it's a huddle. It's a huddle. It's a huddle. Should we go in? No, 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 no. I'll leave him. If you go in, will we come back? <laughs>